Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm doing a little bit something a little bit different, and I'm experimenting with filming in 4K for the first time. And I am looking at an Acer Aspire 5742 laptop, which I have been brought, which is exhibiting some overheating issues. So I'm going to disassemble that and take a look at what the cause of that is. It's either likely to be a defective fan or the heat sinks thermal paste has began to dry up somewhat. So first step as normal we need to unlock the battery and then lift that clear from the laptop. Next up we're going to remove this screw near the center. If we can get good enough leverage with this screwdriver. So removing that here With that screw out, we can now remove the optical drive. And then we're going to go towards the bottom of the laptop. And remove the access panel here, which gives access to the hard drive and memory. And let's switch to a more appropriate screwdriver. So we're just going to use this for these screws. So removing this and pulling on the little tab here will release that access panel. And then from here, the hard drive is held with a single screw. So we will undo that. And from there, we can slide the hard drive over once it comes free. make this a little easier I'm just going to slide in a pry tool there just to shift that across rather than ripping out the plastic once it's pushed all the way over it will lift up now the memory should not need to be touched at this stage so what we need to do now is go round and remove the rest of the screws from the base. So there are various ones as we go round which are all the same size as everything else we've removed thus far. And then we have four here at the back which are smaller. If we start going through these and I'll probably speed things up to skip through. So now with those screws removed, we can flip the machine back over. And what we have to do next is remove the keyboard. So we're taking our plastic pry tool here and we have to release the keyboard from the various little clips along the top. So by pushing those in and then lifting the keyboard forward, we should be able to release it. Working from the center first, let's see. Again, I'm going to use this metal tool as it's a little thinner, often a little better at getting things past. So by pushing these in. And then just levering the keyboard up lightly past them. Mm 
And the downside of the metal tool is it is a little easier to leave marks. The plastic ones tend to wear down a little bit. I could do with their uh, getting some more at the moment as mine are getting a little blunted from heavy use. So with those released we should now be able to get in under the keyboard and lift it out. Then as per normal we need to flip it over, release the two sides this little insertion cable and then remove the cable there releasing the keyboard. Now we want to go through and disconnect the various connectors around here for the top plastic. So we have here again we're just going to use the little tool just to release these. So the power board connector here Then next we have the two speaker cable connectors. First one up here by pushing that back up towards the top of the machine. And the second here, again pushing upwards on that. Then we have the touchpad connector. If we just pull that out, and then this one going over to the optical drive. little tougher getting in around this one because of the plastic sort of shrouding around it. again just pull that connector free and then we have seven uh, now we have one two three four five six seven of these screws here which hold the top plastic down so these are a different size to the back panel screws, so we are going to keep them separate. They're actually the uh, same sort of thread, they're just shorter, so uh, we don't want to get them mixed up. Now starting in the lower right corner we want to begin to separate the upper and lower parts of the case so in here we can just get a plastic pry tool in where there is already a gap opening up. These connectors will come apart very easily in fact and then we just want to work our way around the plastic connectors by sliding along through there we should be able to release them as the tool goes along towards the connectors they should just unhinge or snap open one unfortunately has cracked there but that's often the way when you're 
dealing with taking apart a laptop. Missed one of the screws there, always helps to remove all of them. Then we can lift the top up and free from the inner workings of the machine. With that done, it now also gives us access to things like the USB board, the optical drive board, um, and various other bits and pieces. We've got the power jack up here if that needs replacing or anything like that. But what we're interested in is removing the motherboard from the system. So once again, we are just going to remove the two little connectors here for the USB board. That is already removed. And we're going to disconnect the screen up here. This just slides back out. Now from here we have a screw here. And a, I'm not sure if those ones are holding the main board itself down. Let's have a look. No, it appears not. So if we remove this one up here. Yes, in fact, just removing that one screw allows us to lift and with a little bit of angling. No, it looks like, first of all, we have to remove the fan, which is actually the main part that we believe has failed in this laptop. So two screws here to release the fan from the chassis, just in here. that done. Sorry, a third screw is hiding there under the light where I missed it. So that releases the fan. And with that done, we can now remove the motherboard, it looks like we have another connector, yep, the power connector is on the underside of the board here, so we are going to have to, oh, forgot about the wireless antennas there, so we will disconnect those, and Easiest thing to do here is going to be to lay the laptop on its back, I think. So just some bubble wrap here to protect the screen from scratches from the motherboard. And then bring that round. Remove that connector. Optical drive part came up there, and in doing so, that gives us access to the motherboard. So now I am able to strip down the cooler and work out why this laptop is overheating. And looking here, we can actually see the cores. The uh, heatsink was somewhat matted with dust and other bits, which just when separating it like this has all pulled out. Uh, in addition to this, the thermal paste has gone very solid, um, so renewing that should see a significant improvement in temperatures along with cleaning things out. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have, be sure to check out the other content on my channel and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more in future. Thanks for watching.